everyone. Guess what? Look, it's Bradley. Mm. This is Bradley Mason. He just finished eating. He's sleeping. Hi, Bradley. Say, Mama, why are you trying to wake me up? Hey, I got blue chill. I'm proud of you, Okay. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Hi. I know it's been forever, but um, I've been super busy, of course. And super tired, double of course. <clears throat> um, okay, so at the hospital, they didn't, they didn't let me do, they didn't let me record. So this is gonna be my labor delivery story. I will be posting other videos like a mommy update, and stuff like that. But this will just be my labor delivery story. Um, before anything, it's already been three weeks and four days, five days, yeah, four days. Three weeks and four days since he's been born. So, um, yeah, time is going by so fast. So, he was born on March 29th at 12.04 p.m. So, on March 29th, I was scheduled to be induced around 7.30. I got to the hospital at 5.30. Um, they didn't do anything for like about two hours. I was just sitting there enjoying the room, relaxing, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, relaxing, I guess. Um, yeah, my doctor was like she was supposed to be at seven thirty. She didn't come to eight thirty. So around eight o'clock ish, they they went ahead and checked me because my doctor, I guess, called them and told them she was on her way. So to check me to see how far along I am, um, she had told them that I should be like around one centimeter because that's the last time they checked me at the doctor's office. I'm not sure the last video I did. Uh, but a um, quick update before I was induced, my last doctor's appointment was at 37 weeks. No, 30, 38 weeks. No, it was 37, I'm sorry, 37 weeks to be exact. I'm not sure, I think. Yeah, it took them to supply the 37 weeks. Yeah, it was 38 weeks. I was 38 weeks. I just turned 38 weeks that same day. So, um, they checked me. I was already a week after they took out my sapage. Still no progress. My service is closed. Um, I was just one centimeter. One of the whole weekend, the whole week. He was still in there. <laughs> With my cervix holding him out. Which is a good thing, but in a bad thing because I wanted him that weekend. I was so hoping he was coming that weekend, but he didn't. So, alright. So, that Monday came. Um, when she checked me. She told me I was like four to five centimeters. I was like, what? So yes, you were like four to five centimeters already. I was like, oh my God. <sighs> my doctor couldn't even believe it herself. She was like, what, she's four to five already? So yeah, so I wasn't that nervous about getting my water broken because I was already open. <laughs> so my doctor finally comes in. She comes in, she checks me. She confirmed I'm four to five centimeters and um, she breaks my water, which isn't that bad. It wasn't, I didn't feel nothing, really. All I felt was this warm sensation, just my water coming out. My liquid was clear, he didn't put these in there. Thank God, I was worried about that. <clears throat> um, when she broke my water, I went to six centimeters. So I was like, hold up. I was like, um, at this point, I was at before that, before, she broke my water, I wasn't in pain, but I was having contractions and bracket contractions. Um, so when she broke my water, they started with the pertussin. Now, that's when I started feeling pain. And before that, I'd be right like maybe three minutes before I started feeling pain, I was talking to the anesthesiologist because I was just, you know, wanted to talk to him in case I did want to get an epidural and stuff like that. Sorry. In case I wanted to get an epidural, 
Um, so because I get really bad anxiety and I didn't like my last experience. But he really told me there's nothing he could do about my anxiety. I would just have to go through it and just, you know, just be strong and just go through it. It's only, I'll be done in five minutes. You know, I was like, I guess. So I did opt for the, for the epidural. I decided to get it because at that point I was, I got my first contraction. And boy, was that hell. That Pitocin, like I t I've been talking about it for like forever. Pitocin is no joke. I will say it again. Is this medicine from hell? When you hear the word Pitocin, please be scared because that shit hurts. <laughs> I don't mean I'm, I don't mean to scare the new moms, but I mean the pregnant people right now. But it's it's true. Those are man-made contractions. They help you. They help your your, your cervix open up and stuff like that. So it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt more than your natural contractions. <sighs> so that's what makes it really horrible. Um, I went through maybe three contractions before the epidural. Horrible. I was like, whoa. This is it. <laughs> oh my god. So they came in with the epidural. I got super nervous, super sweaty, super my anxiety just went up. I just started crying because I was scared, you know, about the needle, about me having a contraction while they're doing it. I was in luck, people. I was like, when I'm please, when I'm having a contraction, please don't touch me because I'm too scared and I'm going to move. Because they tell you not to move while they do an epidural. I did warn them, I will move when I have a contraction, so I suggest you don't do anything because I do not want to be paralyzed. And all of that at the same time, I was just thinking about all of that at the same time while having a contraction. It was just chaotic. I was crying. My boyfriend was, you know, comforting me. He was telling me it was going to be okay. Just stay strong. Just be calm. I hate when you say be calm when you're in pain. Don't tell me be calm. Shit hurts. <laughs> be calm. What the hell is that? Um, so, yeah. So... The epidural took them 10 minutes because I had like three contractions while they were doing an epidural. So that was horrible. But they finally got it in. Um, I felt numb maybe like maybe 10 minutes after. So I felt two contractions after that. Then after that, the contractions with the epidural for me felt like having Brexit contractions. That's how they felt. Just a lot of pressure. So very bearable. I was happy. I was like, okay, get the epidural. I was going to be smooth, smooth sailing from here. <sighs> um, so I guess two hours pass after 8.30. They checked me. I was like nine centimeters. Like everything was going by so fast. I was like, holy crap. <sighs> so no, no, actually it, I was seven. I was eight centimeters. And then an hour, another hour passed. She told me I was like nine and a half. That if I wanted to stop pushing, I could stop pushing. So basically, I was in labor for four hours, four hours before he came. So the last, this is the last stretch. Um, so she told me, okay, let's start pushing. And let me, matter of fact, I'm gonna pause this right here and I'll make a, how I do, and I'll make part two. So hold on one second.